Welcome. Welcome, grandparents and special friends to St. Mary's. You know, when a special holiday is on the horizon at St. Mary's, it is sometimes difficult to keep the girls attentive in school, and you are our secret weapon. <laughs> These girls have been focused for weeks, getting ready to put on this presentation for you. We are so glad that you are here, and we hope that you can feel the excitement in the air. You may be preparing a turkey for your own feast this week, but if you are new to St. Mary's, I'll remind you that in these halls, you are more likely to see our turkey mascot on clothing than on a plate. We enjoy both. When you gather at your tables on Thursday, I'm sure you have some treasured family recipes that make the celebration a success. At my house, I am uh, in charge of pies. Today, we want to share with you one of our recipes for success, which, um, which here has to do with the bridge to caring. Um, and I am, which uh, our head of lower school, Dr. Keith, will be uh, describing to you today. We thank you for being here today. We know that, that many of you have come long distances to be with us. We are glad that you're part of the celebration and that you can partake in our favorite family recipe. Right now, I'm going to ask you, if you haven't already, to please silence your cell phone so we can enjoy the music together. And now, as the procession is about to begin, I'm going to uh, invite you to stand as you are able. Thank you so much.
join us in saying our Moss Hall prayer. Father, bless our school today. Be in all we do and say. Be in every song we sing, every prayer to thee we bring. And may we in our lessons see something teaching us of thee. Amen. Good morning. I am Marquisha Bradley Keith. For those of you who do not know me, I am the head of the lower school here at St. Mary's. We have a traditional recipe here that is the secret to our girls' successes. We call it our Bridge to Caring. The Bridge to Caring is a character education program that we learn at the earliest ages through song. It is anchored on one side by respect and on the other by responsibility. And in between, we have six more core values. Today's program cannot be done by any other school in the world. It is uniquely St. Mary's. Our rich and caring values are the topics of conversations and stories in kindergarten, the foundation for talking with lower school students about their choices, and the preparation for the robust honor code and community service that they will enjoy sixth through 12th grades. As a side note, my 6th, 11th, and 12th graders, who have all been here since they were three, still regale me with the songs at home. Woven throughout our program today are the eight value songs that every, girl's learn, every girl learns, and they are eager to share them. The tunes may be familiar, but I wanted to let you know that the words are written by two very special people. Retired first grade teacher, Mrs. Diane Gregory, and retired music teacher for the lower school, Mrs. Nancy Miller. Here to start you on your journey today, over our bridge to caring, is my fourth grade friend, Finley Cannon. My friends and I are going to spend the next few minutes introducing you to each value, explaining why it is important to us performing songs that we use to help us remember what the character trait is all about. So sit back and relax while we take you through an entire school year living and learning with the bridge to caring. We will 
start with the first pillar of our bridge to cure, respect. Respect is so important to us that we dedicate August and September to it. At St. Mary's, we define respect as showing consideration for others and myself. Focus on responsibility. Where it on the streets is that our moms and dads like this one best. We define responsibility as doing what you have to do, when you have to do it, whether you want to or not. Friends, how do we show responsibility every day at St. Mary's? By doing what we are asked to do the first time we are asked. Respect and responsibility are the pillars to hold up our bridge to carry. When we get to November, we begin to walk across the bridge. That brings us to this morning, November 23rd. We have been focusing on thankfulness this month, and we are thankful be to be sharing our morning with you, some of our most treasured people. Thankfulness is being grateful for the things we have, the kindness shown, and the world around us. Each one of us has so very much to be thankful for this week of Thanksgiving. We have made it to December, which is always a short month in our school. Our days are packed full with ho holiday adventures and end of the semester challenges. So December and January share the value of kindness. 
We define kindness as being responsive to the needs of others without expecting something in return. You will frequently see us opening doors for each other, helping a friend who has dropped a notebook, or loaning a pencil to our neighbor. self-control as we cross the bridge. It is usually cold outside and sometimes icy. February finds us inside quite a bit, which gives us the perfect opportunity to practice self-control, thinking before acting or speaking. Don't let our laid-back attitudes up here fool you. We are all, are all working very hard using our self-control.
getting all the way across the bridge. We have reached April intervening honesty, which is being truthful and fair with myself and others. There are so many wonderful stories that illustrate honesty to us, too many to count. Honesty isn't always easy, so frequently we want things to be in a different way and occasionally we forget. Thankfully, we are surrounded by amazing parents, grandparents, and teachers who love and support us even when we forget to be honest. We have made it. It is May on our bridge to Karen. By the time we get to May, we have learned so very much about how to be our best selves. In May, we get, it. In May, we get to put it all together and focus on cooperation, working and playing well with others. Our teachers encourage us to play together, to work in small groups, and to use our talents in conjunction with our neighbors' talents. We cooperate in every aspect of our life at St. Mary's, but one way we cooperate each week is by singing together. loving presence this morning. Our SK and fourth grade girls would like to sing a few of their favorite songs for you. Fourth grade will begin with I Am The Earth. SK will then sing Thank You. And together they will sing Any Turkey Can Tango and A Grandparent's Blessing. Hallelujah.
of the many traditions we have at St. Mary's is praying our school prayer together. This prayer was written by the Right Reverend Thomas F. Gaylor. After we pray this prayer in chapel, we sing day by day together. Please join us in saying the school prayer. <coughs> Almighty God, fountain of all wisdom, be with us, we pray thee, in our work today. And do all the teachers with the sense of their responsibility, with grace and strength for its fulfillment. And students in health of mind and soul and body, make them diligent in study, guard their experience, and save them from all temptations. Bless the patients and alumni of this school, and enable us all, more and more each day, to advance in that knowledge, which is eternal life. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. know we all want to do it. Can we give all these singers uh, another round of applause? <laughs> Girls, you did such a good job today. Thank you for leading us through the Bridge of Caring. And grandparents and special guests, I hope you've enjoyed walking over the bridge to caring with us. These songs and the values they, re they, they represent are embedded in our students' memories. If you walk the halls of the upper school and stop a student and ask her to sing the courage song or a spoonful of kindness, she will immediately and joyfully start singing it for you. It's that, it's that deep in their memory. These songs and these values are are part of the tradition that I love the most about St. Mary's, and we're so happy that you have been with us today to celebrate with us. Good morning again. I am the Mary Henry Thompson, the assistant chaplain for the North Campus, and on this very special day of thanks, we have a lot of people we would love to thank. And after uh, we thank everybody, I will dismiss these girls row by row to come find their special people out there. So girls, did y'all hear that? Row by row. We don't want anybody to get hurt. Special thanks go to our fourth grade and se senior kindergarten teachers. They did an excellent job helping these girls get ready. Extra special thanks to our two brand new music directors and music teachers at St. Mary's, Terry Thiel and John Ellis. And special thanks to our accompanist this morning, Molly Pennington, who remembers being in our Grandparents Day program on the fourth grader. And gratitude goes to our Spanish teachers, Sally Mansberg Rosenberg and Kim Robeson, for helping these girls out with their Spanish. Our art teachers worked diligently to get gifts ready for all of you this morning Molly Logan and Lauren Cannon. Our facility staff who worked super hard to get everything set up for us today. We appreciate all of their hard work. All right, girls, give yourselves a pat on the back. Y'all did an excellent job today. I am super proud of y'all. 
All right, after this dismissal, I will send them out to you row by row. We, we did originally say you could go to their classrooms, but because there are so many of us um, in light of COVID these days, we're not going to send all of you back into their classrooms. So just letting you know that right now. But we sure are glad that you all are here with us today. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord.